Hi everyone, it's Clyde at Vibrant Soap, and today I'm going to try my hand at doing the butterfly swirl. I've seen a lot of people do it, and it's just so beautiful. Um, a lot of people can do it. A uh, really great job. Um, and I have to mention Zahida at Handmade in Florida. She just makes the most beautiful ones that I've like sort of looked at and just marveled over. So I hope to even get a little close to what she's been able to do, as well as a lot of other people. Um, I've tried it a couple times and I've ended up with some nice swirls, but not really quite the butterfly uh, effect. So I'm going to give it another try. That's like me. I just keep on trying. And um, I'm going to also include a little color tutorial. It's going to be sent with, um, oh my god, um, olive from Nature's Garden. So the whole soap is going to have a base of a sort of olive color. So let's get started. So for this butterfly swirl, I'm going to just start off by getting a bunch of green in there. I want the base of this soap to be sort of an olive green. So this is a green in watercolor, um, which is a mix of green and some yellow. So olives aren't always um, the same kind of green, but I like the the sort of stereotypical green, which is a kind of golden um, orangey kind of green. So I added some yellow to this, leave some white in there. Um, thinking about how this butterfly swirl is going to be. By the way, I've never really been truly um, happy with the attempts at the butterfly swirl, swirl that I've done, and Zahida always does an amazing job. So, um, first of all, hats off to her. She's just amazing. Such a nice person, too. Hi, Zahida. Um, and I'm going to look at my color wheel. I want it to sort of stand out, so um, here's the sort of olive green like that I'm going for in my painting to sort of um, figure out the colors that are going to be in my soap. By the way, I don't always do this, but a lot of people said it really does help if I talk about color. Um, for the first time I, that I've talked about color, I'm going to be talking about the color that's exactly opposite um, of the color wheel from each other, and those are called um, complementary colors. They're, they offer the most contrast, so notice it's a red-violet type of color. So I'm going to have a purple with a little bit of red. And then I want um, I want to always spice things up a little bit by adding a sur sort of surprising color. And as long as, I, I, don't, I hate to make rules, but as long as um, you pick just one color that's um, sort of um, a surprise color, it, it generally works. And, uh, add some some kind of drama to your um, work. So I want to use this sort of reddish um, orange or orange to this um, color scheme as well. And I am going to have some white in it also. That's why I left some white on the paper. So I've mixed up some sort of reddish violet. And when you do um, butterfly swirls, you pour basically on one side and so this is sort of just simulating that and we'll see what the orange looks like in there as well so I think that'll look nice and I'm going to sort of swirl in this kind of direction to be one half of the butterfly and uh, the general soap is going to be green. All right, so I've already blended the um, milk and clay shea butter in there. You don't need to see me do that every single time. Here goes the lye. So I just want to emulsify. And the first thing I want to do is get the fragrance in there. It smells really awesome. It's not flowery. It's not... Uh, Herbal, it's um, something all of its own, it's really good. Okay, particular order that I'm going to do this, uh, starting with the lightest first is my white, just a little. My reddish purple, just a little of that. Um, that's going to be my main base and activated charcoal for my black. That was not originally in my plan, but I thought that would really make it uh, dramatic, so. 
Okay, so let's um, get this green in here first. I have to really play with this. I added some titanium uh, dioxide and um, ochre yellows to this one too, and I had to keep mixing until I got the color that I wanted. I want it real subtle, because it's going to be in the main part of the soap. And that looks like a nice olive color. Go with the white, purple, and the black. And it's very liquidy. So it gives me a chance to get all those bubbles out. Since I have time, I'm going to add a little more green because it's a little bit more ochre than I really wanted. I don't know if you can see that, but that is better. That's very olive colored. Okay, so let's get this in there. Oh, still saw a bubble. They cling to the sides of the bowl. And get almost all that in there. I want to save some for the top. Well, let's start with the darkest. That's my journal rule of thumb. Pour from a high. Go for some white. I'm going to sandwich the white between the two darker colors. So I'm going to go all the way down, deep in the mold, and I'm going to swirl counterclockwise. I'm going to try to um, start off with some small swirls and then get progressively bigger. And this I just want to lay on the top. So I'm going to use my scooper spoon. since I've done a textured top, so I think that's what I'm going to do instead. And black is uh, neutral, as gray and white are, so should not disrupt your color scheme that you have planned ahead of time. Let me pound that down. Okay, now it's just a matter of waiting for that to set up a bit, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, let me just remind you that um, while I was waiting for this to set up, I'm not just sitting back watching and eating bonbons. just want to make that really clear. Um, but I did. I was very productive getting everything washed up and cleaned um, while you were waiting. So, uh, yeah, got to get that strained out. So, um, it's um, thick enough that I can... Um, add a texture to the top and uh, most of the colors are showing so I think I'm going to pretty much stop right there but I am going to take my trusty chopstick and go around the edges and that is my Kalamata try to look at uh, colors that work well and colors wheel uh, color wheel and um, showed you that at the very beginning but I also have seen um, black olives olive colored olives um, and this sort of purplish variety too I just haven't seen white olives just put a little tiny sprinkling of glitter right down the middle just to brighten it up a little and uh, now I'm gonna just wait for it to set up so that I can cut it for you in the cutting video which I'll probably attach right to this. So in the meantime, as it's setting up, I'm going to sit back and eat some bonbons and see you real soon. It's time to cut Kalamata. And I'm really happy with this uh, light olive color that uh, is the base color of the whole loaf. 
had to mix um, green with yellow and some titanium dioxide. These are colors that uh, I thought would look good with the green as well. I think the true test of a successful butterfly swirl is if you put two cuts next to each other, adjacent cuts, it should look like the wings of a butterfly. So um, yeah, I'm really happy with that and I'm glad that um, you know after the tutorial I gave on the colors, um, the complementary color scheme, I did decide to add some black to you know, just define the design a bit more. Subtle colors work really well together. Um, and sometimes you want something a little bit more defining. A darker color may be the ticket. So that's really nice. There's one particular butterfly swirl soap that I saw that Zahida did that she put it next one bar next to the other and there's actually the body of the butterfly and an antennae and that's incredible. I don't know how she did that. This is pretty much how I envisioned it. That's the, the key was getting that that green just right, not too dark. If it was any darker it would compete with the other values of the colors. Remember, value again is if you saw this in black and white, you know how light, dark um, they would appear. And if the green was any darker, then it would compete for the definition in the other colors. Delicates, probably a good thing. Interesting. I'm not seeing as much of a butterfly in these, but. I think people would still say that that's a nice attempt, Clyde, at a butterfly swirl. In my cut and cleaned up version of this soap, I think I'm going to. Uh, put them side by side like this. This is kind of one of the fragrances I was hoping to find one day, something that's not really obviously a certain scent. This, um, oh my god, olive scent is just a nice scent without like screaming out that it's something in particular. Right. This has been the cutting of Kalamata. Actually, went to that city, major um, olive-producing uh, area of uh, Greece, and it's on this beautiful bay. And uh, I'm just lucky to have been able to visit that area. Let me put these together, bring it up closer, and thank you all for watching. This is Clyde at Vibrant Soap. And we'll see you again soon. Bye.